You know, we've talked about a lot of modern women that really just don't pay attention to good men until it's too late, but let's review it. I know this is gonna strike a nerve with some people, but there is no more fish left in the sea. All the good ones have been fished out already. There's a reason why you go out and you just see the same dudes over and over again. There's a reason why you open up the same dating apps and it's just the same faces again and again. Like, you know that good guy? That good guy that you keep like dissing and uh, putting him off all oh, because he's not. Oh, so she's even talking about the dissing. And the reason why a lot of good guys are, uh, you know, just dissed is because in America, we live in dysfunction and dysfunction is normalized. See Pookie and Ray Ray and oh, sorry, good for nothing dudes. The reason why they get more females is because the dysfunction in America and to it's too late, right? Oh, when they realized they've been ran through, they had a couple of kids. These guys are nowhere to be found to take care of. Now, like, oh, what happened to that guy that I would talk to, you know, 10 years ago? Not cool enough, or he's a little short, or give him a chance. That's the guy who's going to take care of you. See, that's, they keep saying the same thing. Is that we just keep seeing and hearing the same commentary all over is that once again, a lot of women in general have good guys come their way and see in, in the Western world, they say, well, you, you know, you 23, you too young to settle down. You too young. Oh, you 25, you 26, you too young. You know, wait till you 30, wait till you 35. Okay. And wait till your biological clock is almost done instead of securing your husband in your twenties. You know what? If you get married at 24, 25, you're in your prime. You have your kids in your twenties. By the time you get in your forties, you know, your kids could be about grown and you know, gone or whatever the case may be. Right. It's better to have your kids in your twenties. You don't have, you know, risk of birth defects or anything else. Women have been lied to in this country, lied to taught that three or four is okay. Being on only fans is okay. If you don't want a kid right now, you could just go get rid of it. You understand? And all that affects them at the end of the day, all of that, the culture affects them though. I think the greatest lie that has ever been told to women in this country is that you have time. Don't settle down right now. Oh girl, have a hot girl summer. That, that's normal. Being a 304, I went through my 304 phase. That, that's normalized in this country and it has consequences. That's the thing. Instead of saying, you know what? Ooh, this guy's a good guy. Let me jump on that because I don't know how many good guys are going to come my way. What if you have your epiphany and okay, now I'm ready for the good guy. Like the other one I covered. Now you're ready for the good guy, but you can't get him now because he didn't moved on. One thing I will tell you ladies, this, these good guys that you're talking about, they going to get married. They gonna have a woman. I promise you that whether they hear or abroad, but they won't have a woman because women are looking. Don't pass them. I keep repeating that over and over again. Stop passing up good men, but let me know what y'all think about, you know, what this woman is saying here. And you know, like I said, it's just a reoccurring thing. These women want to realize it when it's too late, but you should have got the man when you had the chance.